Welcome back to Mountain Connections. We are going to continue the conversation about getting outside and enjoying this beautiful snowy winter weather. And here for their monthly interview is the Youth Sports Alliance. They help encourage our kids to get outside, try new sports. They also support young athletes who are competing all across the world as we speak. So here to tell us all about it. It's Emily Fisher and Jana Dalton. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. So this is a busy time of year. It's a very busy time of year. Yes. All the winter sports are happening. All the activities. Yes. yes. How are the holidays? Uh, holidays were great, yeah, and we had uh, seven different athletes from Park City qualify for the Youth Olympic Games, and those will start this week in Lausanne, Switzerland. So really exciting to have athletes from different sports representing Park City um, over there. And these are athletes that the YSA has helped with funding or with training, helped support through pretty much the beginning of their time in the sport to now international competition. Yes, so they're from our seven winter sports clubs and uh, we support those clubs through Jan's Winter Welcome and Live PC, Give PC. And then some of them started in our Get Out and Play program, so that's really fun to see those athletes going on to that next level. And then some of them we've supported with scholarship funding, so um, just neat to see those athletes up at that next world stage. And you have quite a few, so an exciting time yeah. for them. Yes, very exciting, for sure. And you also are involved in pursuing scholarships because you need the funds to be mm -hmm. able to continue to support these great athletes. Yes, and so that's through our Stein Erickson Endowment. We um, uh, finished that endowment in 2016, but it continues to grow, and then we can give scholarship funding back to athletes in those seven winter sports clubs if they can't afford their program fees or travel fees, so yeah. So it's important that these continue and you keep raising more and more funds. So that's yes. a great testament to how much the community values the YSA. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. It's neat to see the community come together and just support all those athletes from all those different sports. And it um, doesn't matter what um, their financial background is like, that they can still pursue their dreams. This is really an incredible opportunity to mm -hmm. say. And speaking of opportunities and getting out and pursuing Get Out and Play, they're going strong yes uh -huh. our yes. programs uh, just start this week yeah so we're <coughs> we kicked off this week um we're sending over 700 kids outside to uh try new sports get out and play um they start at deer valley today woodward um uh, park city deer valley resort so we're very excited about that um what we're especially excited about is that kids from south summit are going to be um getting out on snow on Mondays. That's our early release day. So we have 24 kids, um, never evers, that are going out Monday under the lights at Park City Mountain. And um, thanks to Vail Epic Promise Grant, they will, they've will they committed to supporting 64 kids next year, so doubling the program out in South Summit. So it's amazing. I'm so impressed. Over 700 kids. I know. <laughs> it's a crazy week for us. <laughs> it is a crazy week. There's yeah. a lot to coordinate yes. with that, but yes. also what great opportunities for these kids it's and amazing. a lot of never evers yes mm -hmm. yes so thanks to heather sims our program director she's working her tail off to get all these kids out there and make sure transportation is you know doing its part and it's it's a very exciting time so. and of course you also help if um some of these kids have a hard time with equipment of course if they're never evers they probably don't have any of this mm -hmm. expensive equipment that you need to enjoy a lot of winter sports here yeah yeah so so thanks to um many of our supporters and our sponsors um Rosignol, switchback sports um the solomon fund we've hosted the, our equipment night the last two nights and kids have gone to switchback to pick up their gear and their helmets and their goggles and just to see their faces light up when they get to pick out the color of their goggles and try on their helmets it's it's one of the most rewarding things that we do. It really is, and great to see them outfitted on mm -hmm. the slopes. But I have to say, logistically, <laughs> how do you handle all these brand new kids on the slopes, first time ever? How do you even organize that, make sure they're safe, make sure they figure out what they're doing when they've never been out on skis? So I think that goes back, it's a testament to our program director, Heather Sims, does a great job, and we have a lot of great volunteers for the programs. Um, you should say Heather has a giant matrix of buses and people who's going um, every different direction. And so, but we have um, coordinators at each school. We have outreach um, workers that we work with and then bus chaperones. So week one is definitely um, a little bit of herding cats and making sure everybody gets to the right um, spot. But those bus chaperones really help those kids. The bell rings, they change their clothes, they get them on the bus. They get off the bus, everybody finds their equipment, and then they get um, grouped with their instructor. And 
off they go. And week two is a little bit easier because everybody kind of knows the routine, but it really is a testament to our volunteers and we couldn't do what we do without our volunteers. And so that's a really important um, piece for us as well. So whether they're skiing, speed skating, whatever activity they're participating in, there's always an instructor there. Yes, yeah. yep. So we work with amazing community partners um, for our Get Out and Play program, the resorts. Um, so Vail Epic Premise, Deer Valley, Utah Olympic Park, White Pine, um, Park City Ski and Snowboard provide some instructors for us, Woodward. Um, they all provide the instruction, which is, which is great because it is a um, professional instructor. So this is what, you know, if you were to go to Deer Valley or to Park City and buy a lesson, these ex exact same um, instructors. So um, they're all professional instructors. And then for our Activate program, we work with a lot of great local businesses as well. So, you know, whether it's Rise Boxing or Bow Collective or um, Red Flower Glass Studio, like they're all providing um, the instruction and we're just kind of facilitating and making it all happen. And we like to have you come on Thursdays, which is our health and wellness day, mm -hmm. because it's, I like the aspect of, you know, you're allowing these kids to get out, to enjoy these activities. Some of them even compete at international levels. That's not the goal, but some of them realize that's their dream and it's a talent of theirs. But they're also getting off of screens. Mm -hmm. They're hopefully starting a lifetime of adventuring and not being afraid to try new things. And that's exactly. a great testament to the program. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, yes. thank you. And yeah. I think as we see more and more um, kids and teenagers spend time on their screen, they do tie it to decreased mental health. And so one of our goals is to, you know, get them off their screens and introduce them to new activities and just try to help them find that spark of something that they want to pursue um, that maybe is not on a screen. Absolutely. There's some more opportunities to support YSA. If you're heading to the mountain and you need to buy a lift ticket, you can do that. Yes. And it'll support the yes. organization. Mm -hmm. Yes. So thanks to Vail Epic Promise Grant, um, they su su supplied us with lift tickets that are available at Switchback Sports and Peaks Hotel, as well as our office. Um, they're $138 a day, so they're much less than the uh, window price at the mountain. And the great thing about it is, is that 100% of the proceeds go directly back to YSA. So you can buy your lift ticket at a discounted rate and do a good thing for the community all and at the same time. All goes to these sports lines. And yes. the great part is that you can buy that ticket and then go straight to the lift. You don't have to stop by the ticket window or anything. So it's really an easy way to help support YSA and um, save a little bit of money. So enjoy time on the mountain for a good cause. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so it's much. a win-win. <laughs> it is a win-win. Thank you so much for being here today. Really impressed always with the Youth Sports Alliance and how you're helping our youth here in our backyard and around the world competing. So thanks for being here. Thank yeah. you for having us. Thank you. All right, check out Youth Sports Alliance online. Find out how you can support them, how you can get your kids involved. They have more sessions coming up after this session. So if your child wasn't able to register, check out their website, find out other programs you can register with them for in the future. Thanks to Emily and Jenna for being here today and to the Youth Sports Alliance. We'll be back with more right after this.